Hey, this is Dr. Fast here, and in this video I will be replacing the chandelier in my dining room. And here's a new one that I picked up. It's a six light chandelier. And I'll be putting this together. It will replace this older one here, as you can see. I'll be taking this one down and then putting this one up. Before you do any work, you need to turn off the breaker so you don't have the risk of electrocuting yourself. The next thing I like to do is to remove the bulbs and also the uh, the lampshade, the glass lampshade on this because it's going to reduce the weight and make it more manageable and easier to remove the old chandelier. And on these ones, there's a collar here that you just have to loosen and the lampshade will come off. Once all the uh, lampshades are removed, then go ahead to the top of the chandelier and remove the nut that's holding the plate at the top. Let this drop. Remove the cover. Let this drop also. Next is to disconnect the wiring to the chandelier. And again, make sure your breaker is off in the house so this is safe. The black wire is your hot wire. The white wires are neutral, and then that's also a ground wire we got to remove. Okay, the next thing is you need to remove the two Phillips screw that's holding this down, and we'll take the entire strap off. And make sure you hold the chandelier so it doesn't drop. That's it. So here are all the parts laid out, and these are all the parts that came with the box. And here's the chandelier itself. Now I left the chandelier in this cardboard box here so that it wouldn't roll around and it's easier for me to assemble it. But once I'm done assembling it, then I'll remove the cardboard box. You need to install this chain, this metal chain, onto the chandelier. And I just put this on, and I'll show you in a sec how to bend this link open so that you can insert this link into this top hook on the chandelier. And once you install the bottom side here, you also need to open up the link and install it onto this hook here that will go up to the electrical box. To open up one of these links, all you need to do is get two pliers and there's actually a, an opening on one side of this. So clamp it with one plier and clamp it with the other and twist. And you can see this will open up and then when you're done, you twist the other direction to close the link back up. So that's how you hook it onto the chandelier. After you install the chain link to the bottom loop and the top loop, what you want to do is grab the power wire and the ground wire and just feed it through the, uh, one of the links. Now if you do have a long chain that you'll be using, you might want to loop it a couple of times. But with this one, I'm just going to loop it once. And that will prevent the wire from basically getting loose and um, hanging too loose on the side of the chain. And then once you have that looped, grab the power wire and the ground wire and feed it into the hole here of the top loop. Okay. And feed it through. The next thing is to loosen the nut on the top. 
loop here and just drop this down then you also want to grab the top plate and feed it through so that's the order you want you want the nut and the plate in this order and what you want to do is feed this wire through here and bring this down and screw this on the reason I want to put this on right now is because if you were to install this uh, strap and then turn this top loop onto this strap what happens is that the wires can be all twisted so this way the wire is still straight and all you have to do is just put the two Phillips screw through here into the electrical uh, box okay now I'm going to install the bracket into the electrical box here using a supplied Phillips screw if it's too heavy go ahead and uh, get someone to help you out To wire up the chandelier, on the chandelier side you'll find two wires with the same color. On the house side there's going to be a black wire that's going to be your hot wire. The white wire is going to be your neutral wire. So go ahead and grab one of the wire from the chandelier and twist it onto the black wire. And using one of the wire nut, screw that on to insulate the connection. and then go ahead and grab the other chandelier's wire and twist it on to the white wire use another wire nut to twist that on the last connection will be your ground wire and what you want to do is connect the chandelier's ground wire to the bracket that is on the top there with a green screw so that the entire lamp is going to be grounded. Okay, so I've wrapped the chandelier's ground onto this green screw and I bent the ground from the house. See a little loop there? Just loop it onto the green screw also so they're all tied together. Go ahead and tighten this up. Let's go ahead and bend this. Like so. Bring the cap up here. Bring the nut to the top here. And we'll go ahead and just tighten this up. For this chandelier, I'll be using the CFL bulbs, the energy efficient, and these are the warm ones. So it gives a nice um, yellow tinge to it, like a regular incandescent bulb. So let me turn it on. So here's the finished installation. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.